This is what we've all been waiting for. We're gonna get smashed, mate, but I'm still gonna give it my best shot. What is going on, fellas? Scooter Kid 43 here, back with another episode, season five of the Alaska Dynasty, taking on FSU, the team we versed last year in the national championship. They have an A plus overall, A plus offense, and A minus defense, whilst we are sitting at a B, B plus, and a B minus. Kirk Herb Street's gonna be rocking with them. Checking out the top 25, we see Michigan in first place. We play them later on this season. We also have Oklahoma, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Florida State, of course. And Little Alaska is down in 11th spot. I do not see any Alabama though. That is the craziest thing. They're not in the top 25. They're not even receiving votes to get in the top 25. As for recruiting, we picked up that 77 overall tackle, which was nice. I also found Josh Jackson on the low lock list. I'm gonna start Start pursuing him but I have a feeling now that I have pursued him Ohio State's just gonna be annoying and get him anyway I will keep my eyes posted though but that's pretty much it fellas nothing much to update you on in that department remember we're only in week three <laughs> my goodness that being said fellas I'm ready to jump into the game hopefully you guys are hyped and without further ado let's jump into it I thought we had a good opening start, man. They have 56 points. They have a new running back from the looks of things, too. Remember that running back from last year, how annoying he was? Bring him down. No hurry up offense. That's going to be a dot, my goodness. Come on. Very nice, boys. I see you. Oh, look at that green and gold SEC logo. That is so mad. I forgot. That's one of the coolest things about this game. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my! <laughs> Clifford Jean knocked into another dimension. Oh my goodness, that is so embarrassing. Read option play. Harrison gets an off the block. Quarterback spy. Give me that! Oh, Harrison! My guy, that's a pick six with your speed, bro. Screenplay, Arnold! Big body ass can't get to it. He's gonna get sacked. Come on, bring him down. There we go. Quarterback's tied. I don't think he'll be scrambling it. Gonna take the short little dump off. Brady with the hit! The fumble! But we can't recover it. Underneath again. No way. We forced a field goal. Let's go, boys. Might even hit the tight end. Underneath. He dropped it. He actually dropped it. Don't tell me this is going to be one of those games where we go back and forth, trading the ball. They're boring games, man. Just go underneath. That's our first complete pass of the game. Mario Hill on the corner route, though. We saw what this guy could do in his debut. Crap. Let's go, Gilliam, with the big snag. All right, let's see if we can get some space here. It's man coverage. I'm taking off. Slide, Skinner. Ah, that was a bad. That might have been a little bit forced. That's my bad there. Oh, screenplay. Let's get there. That is not the play you want to use against Alaska. And once again, we get the ball back. Hopefully they play a little bit of man coverage, man. Haven't seen them play any man all game. And it's still not going to be man. Let's go, Mario Hill, the freshman. Let's go underneath. Ah, step back, couldn't get him. If we put Prater out on the left, do you think... Bro, he's got the speed to do this. All we need is the blocks. I might let it fly here. Ryan Skinner does have an arm on him. Throw it up. Oh, he was triangle? So many freshmen out here. It's a little bit tough, I'm not going to lie. Coleman, what a snag, my guy completely bailed out. The awareness to run backwards to make that catch is unbelievable. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and put two clock on here because there's three minutes left. It's probably going to take us quite a bit of time to get down that field. Please play man coverage for once. They're not going to play man coverage. Let's go across the middle. Foster takes a big hit. We have Stafford Prater on the speed sweep. Can we get it, boys? Cut it up. Prater, no. And coach is saying, go for it. Really, coach? I have every intention on making this play right here. Like that, underneath. Let's get a Gilliam. 
Get the blocks! Get the blocks! Gilliam in the corner! Yes! What a big time play by the junior gym! Alright, let's try and lock him up here. We're only up 7 0. I'm on that. Boost! Clifford Jean with the big hit. They can have a field goal. I'm not really too worried about that, but. No touchdowns! Watch a two man under. I have a feeling they might try a screenplay if they're cheeky enough for it. They're not. Oh, Adams! He dropped it! We gotta make those plays, man. We can't keep giving them up. Going short. Run play. There we go. Lock him up. Oh, you don't want that hit. Fourth and nine. We did it again, fellas. Let's see if we can get the quarterback involved, man. He's not doing too much through the air, unfortunately. Once again, the inexperience of the offense. Let's go. Juke move. Slide, mate. And I know it didn't work last time, but let's try the jet sweep. Mario Hill, the freshman this time, coming across. Let's see if we can get it. Come on. Oh, mate, in the backfield. Oh, no. We're going for it. There's no way they can defend this. It's impossible. It's impossible, I tell you. All right, let's see what we can get here. The safeties have dropped a little bit low. In the corner. Ooh, what a dot. It's out of bounds, though. Let's just take Gilliam underneath. All right, we'll take it. This obviously isn't close enough to go for the quarterback sneak on fourth down, but I trust Gilliam to get us to that point. We should easily be able to get this. Ooh, fourth and one. Mate. He literally rushed for six yards. Please play man coverage for once, man. Let's go underneath. There we go. Ooh, Walker with the first down. We might be winning this game, but the stats for Ryan Skinner are terrible. I don't know what we're going to do, literally. It, it, it's just ridiculous. This is man coverage. Coleman's going to hang on to it. First and ten. Let's bring Steve Walker across on the blitz. Sneaking it in there first down. We're nearly in the fourth quarter. This entire drive has been Alaska on offense. Literally, they're not even going to get the ball made. <laughs> oh, Walker with the one-handed snag. It's been a while since I played with a freshman I really like. Apart from the quarterback. Let's go, Jim. Let's go. Touchdown number two. I don't really want to all-out blitz because I know they can send their players deep. Great, I'm going to blitz anyway. Let's go. Come on. It's a passing play. Ah, where is the man coverage? It's all right. Time is ticking down considerably fast. It's going to take off. Oh, my. What a fumble, mate, by Harrison. Let's see if they're going to give us another chance through the middle. Third and eight. Screen play. 99 acceleration. Harrison screws it up, and we give him a first down. Harrison across the middle. I don't fear anybody else. Gonna go underneath. Man, these guys are cowards. Still plenty of time to go, but they gotta score relatively soon. I'm underneath. I'm just sitting on this. Gonna take off. Have you guys noticed as well how every single hit we've laid has been a big hit? It's not like a tackle. We are literally, like, hitting these guys, mate. To the point there's been two fumbles, and we get the sack! Let's get it. Third and goal. You know they're not gonna take a field goal. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Fourth and goal, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was so worried these guys were going to drop like 30 on us, mate. It looks like the inexperience of their team with all these new players is also backfiring. Oh, no. Ah, they... No need to get fancy with it. Let's just run this out. Mean blitz. Throw it up, Jim Gilliam. Let's go up the sideline. Big time play again. Now I'm definitely not passing it anymore. We're nearly in field goal range already. There's no need. Jim Gilliam's made nothing but big plays all day. Let's keep it that way. Nearly with the first down. Even when they stack the box to stop Ryan Skinner, he's finally going to get stopped. Go, 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 go. Yes. Game over. Look at the yards as well. 248 to 244. Almost identical in the fourth quarter, mate. Go Jim Gilliam, man. The MVP today. 
Let's go, give it back to Jimmo. Duke move. Oh my goodness. We've never seen this Alaska team more dominant on the rushing end because of how well our team is blocking now as Jim Gilliam runs in for his third touchdown of the day. What an absolute monster performance on the receiving and rushing end. And this really begs the question, 99 FSU offense, they only dropped nine points on us in the entire game. Throw it up. That's going to be a pick. Chris Davis. Chris Davis, the sophomore. Come on, we're going to pick six it. This guy, number 88, didn't have a chance the entire play, mate. Let's go. Throw it up. Oh, he dropped it. Still a good play, though, man. Ryan Skinner having a pretty crap game, but it's all right. We still got the dub. Checking out the stats on the day. Ryan Skinner with a 129.5 passer rating, zero touchdowns, one interception. He didn't play all that bad, though. Overall, he did lead the team to a victory, after all. Jim Gilliam, definitely the player of the game. 12 attempts, 62 yards, three touchdowns, and a 5.1 average. Receiving end of things, pretty evenly distributed the entire way down. Could not get a touchdown, but with that being said, everybody did their thing out there. Blocking end of things, check this out. Two pancakes and a sack, mate. The offensive line is definitely putting in work. And on the defensive end of things, Tom Hall, the strong safety, the freshman leading the team in tackles, five solo, Bo Wallace with four, Harrison with three. I thought he had a little bit more. He did have a deflection though, should have been a pick. Weatherford with two TFLs and a sack. We were getting pressure to the quarterback all damn day. Still, unfortunately, no turnovers by the Alaska team. All we do is smack balls away. Chris Davis with the amazing interception as well, right at the end. Uh, it didn't really count towards anything, but, you know, shouts out to him for making a huge play, man. That being said, fellas, that's going to wrap up part two of our season five campaign. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. Another big dub. That being said, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.